In this video, I will give you a quick tutorial on the futures trading on the platform CoinX. If you want to get the best signup bonus possible on CoinX, you simply have to go down to the first link in the video description, then you will get to exactly this page right here, and you can get up to $100 of bonuses. And over time, they often have different events running where you can get cashbacks and additional bonuses that you're automatically qualified for. To create your account, simply enter your email address right here and set a password or use one of those options, and then you're ready to go. If you already have an account, you can still enter a code within seven days after your sign up by simply going up here to your account settings then go to account overview and then you will see this forgot to enter referral codes click on click to enter and then simply enter the invitation code ctg and then you will still be able to qualify once you have created an account and you log in for the first time you'll get to this page right here and the first thing i want to show you is how you can deposit money so first how to deposit crypto you simply go up here to your assets and click on deposit then up here choose the cryptocurrency you want to deposit so you can choose between usdt bitcoin there's many of them right here you can also search for a cryptocurrency. In my case, I will choose USDT. Then I also need to select the network. You can choose whichever one you want. In my case, I'm going to choose the Solana network. Just make sure that you're using the same network in here as for the other wallet or exchange where you're sending the money from to here. Then down here, you will be presented with your personal deposit address, which you can then copy to your clipboard right here and then send the crypto to here. It usually only takes a few minutes for the money to arrive and then you have it on here. If you don't have any crypto yet, or you want to deposit with fiat money, so euro, US dollars, British pound, whichever fiat currency you have, there's also an option for that. You can simply go up here to buy crypto and then go to third party trading, then choose buy USDT. Here on the right side, select your fiat currency, in my case, euro. And then down here, you will see those different third-party providers. You can see right here what payment methods they support. And if you find one, simply click on buy. And what it will do is it will buy with your fiat money USDT. And then you will have that USDT on your account right here. To check if any of your deposits have already arrived, you can always go back here to your assets and then go to spot. And then right here in your spot account under assets, you will always see if any of your deposits have already arrived. In my case, you can see I have the USDT right here. If you deposit it with something other than USDT we first need to convert it into USDT and we can do that by simply going up here to exchange and then go to swap then up here choose the cryptocurrency you still have for example if you deposit it with bitcoin just choose bitcoin up here for the amount you can just choose the maximum amount that you will see available right here and we will transfer it to USDT and then simply click on swap and then you will have whatever crypto you have converted into USDT where we need it. Now we can go back here to our assets. Let's go to the asset overview. And as you will see, we have different accounts in here. So I have currently my 140 USDT in the spot account. But in order to trade with it, we need to transfer it to our futures account right here. And we can do that by simply clicking here on transfer then choose from spot to futures. We're gonna choose USDT right here. I'm gonna select all and click on confirm. And now you will see we have transferred the USDT from our spot account into our futures account. And now we can use the money right here to trade with it. To get to the trading platform, we simply go up here to futures and then click on futures trading. Then we will get to this trading platform right here. I'm now gonna quickly show you everything we can see right here. First of all, on the left side, you can choose the trading pair that you wanna trade. So I'm currently Bitcoin is selected, but of course you can also trade any of these other coins right here. In the middle, you can see the price chart. You can choose between the basic chart or trading view. Doesn't really matter, both of them work. And up here, you can also choose the different time frames. Here on the right side, you can see the order book. So the sell and buy orders in the market currently. And if we scroll down a little bit, here's where we can execute our trades. And if we scroll down a little bit here at the bottom, we will see our open positions later on when we open our first trade, as well as your orders and your history. On the right side, we can see some information about our assets. So the 144 USDT that we have deposited right here. Up here, we can also see how much of that is available. And this right here in the middle, this is basically where we can control our trade. So we can choose the leverage, the order type, the position size, add take profit and stop loss, and eventually open long and short positions. All right, so let's open our first trade. We are simply gonna click on here and first choose the margin mode. I'm gonna leave that on isolated for now, which I also would recommend. Down here, we can choose our leverage. You can choose an up to 100X leverage. In my case, I'm simply gonna start off with a 5X leverage. Click on confirm right here. Next, we need to choose the order type. We can choose between a limit and a market order. If you choose a limit order, you could set a certain price at which you want your trade to open. For example, if I type in here, I wanna open my long position at $90,000. 
I would simply place a pending order in here at 90k and only if the price would go down and reach 90,000 then this trade would be executed. But what I can also do and recommend most of the time is market because a market order is simply executed immediately at the current market price. Then we can choose right here long and short. In my case I want to go long so I'm going to choose the position size in here. I recommend you to switch this over to USDT because then we can simply type in here how big we want our position to be. In my case I want to open a $500 position size and we can see down here under margin how much of our own capital we are using for this trade. So $100 times 5x leverage will equal an entire position size of $500. So that's how our margin, our own capital, the leverage and the position size play together. In our last step we can also add a take profit and stop loss if we want to do that. So we can just click on here and now type in the prices where we want them to be. So let's say I want to put my take profit to $98,000. I can see I will make a profit of $17. Same goes for my stop loss. Let's say I want to place that at $93,000 and you will see I would make a loss of $9. So I can quickly also see how much profit or loss I would make at those prices. And then to open my position, I simply can click on buy long down here, confirm it, and then my trade is already executed. If I scroll down a little bit, I can also see all the important information about my opened trade in here. I can see it's a Bitcoin trade with a 5x leverage. It's a long trade, also in green right here. I can see the position size, so the $500. It's sometimes a little bit less because in the background it needs to be rounded to an even BTC amount a few digits after the decimal point. So that's why it can sometimes be a bit lower. But therefore also our margin, our own capital is now a little bit less than $100. So sometimes, especially if you're using lower volumes, the values cannot exactly match what you typed in here. But this is the $500 position size. This is the $100 of our own capital. Here is our average entry price and the current price. And here on the right side, we can see our profit and loss that is currently opened. In this case, the price has gone down a little bit. So we are in a small loss right here. And this price right here is also important. This is the so-called liquidation price. So let's say the price would fall down this much from the current price down to $76,000. Then this trade right here would be liquidated, which means it would be closed automatically by the platform and we would lose our entire margin right here that is currently our own capital in this trade. But of course, we can prevent that from happening by placing a stop loss beforehand, which we already did. We placed it at $93,000, where we already said we only want to make a maximum loss of like $10 that we set up here at the beginning. And that also brings me to the point, if you want to edit your take profit and stop loss, you can simply click on here. And then you will see again, here's my take profit at that price and here's my stop loss and the profit and loss you will make. If you want to edit any of these values, you can simply cancel that right here and then set a new one. So let's say I want to place it at 93,500. Then I would only make a $6 loss at that stop loss and I can just click on confirm and therefore I've edited that. And of course, at any point you can cancel them and just place new ones if you want to edit any of these values. At the end, if you want to close your trade, you can simply go here to the right side, click on close and choose how much percent you want to close of the trade. Or also if you just click on this flash icon right here, that means it will just close the entire trade with just one click. Click on confirm and then you will see it also closes your trade automatically and you're out of the trade again. Don't forget to pick up the best signup bonus possible by creating an account with the first link down from the video description. Or if you already have an account, go to your profile and enter the code CTG to still be on board. And if you have any other questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.